Hey guys, this is Simon Fuchs and you are watching the trailer for my new ultimate hard surface tutorial for the turret gun. What you are looking at right now is a turntable render of the final asset in Marmoset Toolbag that we will be creating in this course. This tutorial contains over 40 hours of video and I will go through every single step to create this high quality, game ready PBR asset from start to finish as well as creating renders of the asset for your portfolio. It contains many time savers that I have picked up in my over 12 year long career in video games. At the end of this tutorial, you will be equipped with all the tools and techniques needed to become an expert at hard surface modeling. Now let's take a look at all the different parts of this tutorial. In the first part, the introduction, I'm giving you a detailed overview of my workflow in over 6 hours of fully commented video. I will start in 3D Studio Max and will be providing you with all the scripts, hotkeys and plugins that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I will walk you through how to install all of them and will give you detailed examples for when and how to use them, turning 3D Studio Max into a powerful tool for hard surface modeling. On top of that, you will learn the basics of Modo's Mesh Fusion to create advanced hard surface intersections. If you do not have access to Modo, don't worry, I will show you how to do similar operations in ZBrush as well. In the high poly modeling chapter of this tutorial, you will learn how to model the turret gun from the initial design blockout to the final high poly mesh. This part covers the entire design process and you will learn both important modeling techniques as well as design principles. Every single part of the asset requires us to make use of advanced modeling techniques, which I will explain to you in detail. At the end of this chapter, you will understand how to use 3D Studio Max in combination with ZBrush and Modo to create a state-of-the-art high-poly asset. After the high-poly is done, you will learn the fundamentals of Keyshot to create realistic-looking high-poly renders. We will create multiple render passes and then take them to Photoshop, where you will learn how to apply post-processing effects to create the final images. After we have created the high poly renders, we will create the low poly model of the turret gun. In this chapter, you will learn how to retopologize your high poly mesh to create the final game ready low poly asset. You will learn various approaches and techniques that make this process fast and easy, and you will learn all the important principles to keep in mind when creating low poly assets. Once the low poly model is done, we are going to create UV coordinates for the asset which will be the base for the final texture. In this part of the tutorial, you will learn how to create an efficient UV layout, focusing on getting the most use out of the UV space available. After that, we are going to prepare our scene for baking in XNormal. To do this, you will learn how to break up your high poly model into different material groups to get a color ID map for texturing later on. Once everything has been set up in 3D Studio Max, we will export the meshes as OBJs to XNormal, where you will learn the fundamentals of baking, including the best settings to use for a flawless bake. After the bake, we will move on to Quixel Suit to generate the final textures. You will learn the latest PBR texturing techniques in Didu to generate materials that are as close to photorealism as possible. I will explain in detail how each material is being created from the ground up. In addition, I will teach you how to use 3DO to paint detail directly onto your mesh, as well as how to use Photoshop in combination with Didu to add localized grime, wear and tear, and decals onto your object. Once the final materials have been created, we will save them to use in Marmoset Toolbag or any other engine. In the last chapter of the tutorial, we are going to create the final renders of the turret gun for your portfolio. You will learn the fundamentals of Marmoset Toolbag and I will teach you all the important settings to create stunning looking renderings of your asset. You will learn the basics of how to light your asset and add post-processing effects through the Marmoset cameras. After that, we will take the renders to Photoshop and create portfolio-ready images of your final game asset. You will learn how to add post-processing effects as final tweaks to the image. In addition, you will learn how to create a Marmoset Bureau file that you can upload to your ArtStation so that people can take a look at the final 3D asset in the browser. Thanks for watching and see you in the tutorial.